Welcome back to Movie Chats, I'm Steve and this is the new show, Fun Facts. In this series, little Steve and I will be picking our favourite characters from film and TV shows and going through some interesting facts. Hopefully, we should be able to tell you some facts that you don't know and some of it we might be teaching you to suck eggs. Hopefully, throughout the series though, we'll get you to love the characters as much as we do. As always, please feel free to leave a comment at the end and we'll pick them up on our Thursday Night Live show or I can reply to the comment via YouTube. Now, let's get the show on the road. The character of Batman was created by artist Bob Kane and writer Bill Finger back in 1939. For over 75 years, Batman continues to grow to be one of the most popular superheroes of all time. He's appeared in 18 films, 15 different TV series spanning cartoon and live action, and that's not including the Lego movies. So whether it's his funky gear, his crime fighting skills or the awesome designs on the Batmobile, there's always something to love about Bruce Wayne's alter ego. As I've said at the start, we've came up with this series so we can share these fun facts with you and hope you can love these characters as much as we do. So let's get stuck in. Time to sit back and enjoy. Bruce Wayne's a combination of Robert the Bruce and Mad Anthony Wayne. Robert the Bruce is known for leading the Scots against the British in the Scottish War of Independence and Anthony Wayne was a US Army officer known for his fiery temper. As you can see, some of these characteristics from these people that they took the names from also merged their way into Bruce Wayne stroke Batman as well. Everybody knows a superhero is often seen with a trusty sidekick. Batman's no different, he's had Robin by his side over the years. There's been a total of four male characters take on the role of Robin. Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, Tim Drake and Damian Wayne. However, were you aware that there's been three female Robins? Stephanie Brown, Kerry Kelly and Helena Wayne. The last one does depend on what series of comics that you read because Helena doesn't become Robin and all of them, she does become the Huntress. You might as well call me a superhero because I have got a sidekick. From Adam West through to Ben Affleck, there's been plenty of actors put their names to Batman over the years. However, one that stands out for me is Kevin Conroy. In total, he's voiced over 8 different Batman series, 10 video games and 13 movies. He's also the first person to use a different voice for Wayne than he did for Batman. So there's no wonder that Mark Hamill, who voices the Joker in most of these series, loves working alongside him. On a side note, we almost had Tim Curry voice the Joker in the animated series, however it was deemed too scary, and the Joker came across as a deranged version of Pennywise from It. I didn't know you could get any more deranged than Pennywise from It, but we almost had it. We all know that Bruce Wayne loves to play games and complete puzzles to keep his mind sharp. That was no different as a child. A game of long distance chess which is played via letter is still ongoing today. Both child and now adult remained anonymous to each other, but it was revealed in the comics to be no other than Oswald Copperpot. Copperpot grew up to be one of Gotham's most feared crime bosses, the Penguin. There's many different versions of the Batsuit and they all have different functions. Most of the time the cape can double up as a parachute or a hang glider and the famous cowl's got all the mod cons in such as night vision and the up-to-date communication systems. All suits are lined with lead to keep his identity secret from that certain superhuman individual. And in the animated series The Justice League, Batman also carries a piece of kryptonite around in his utility belt. When questioned about it by Hawk Girl, his response was, I like to keep it around for insurance purposes. It's been seen in many versions of the comics and TV shows that Batman has three children. These children grow up to be heroes in their own right, however, two of them do take a darker path and become villains at a later time. Selina Kyle, Catwoman, is the mother of the aforementioned Helena Wayne. <laughs> Struggling to find a name for the city that they're going to use in the comic books, the writer opened up a phone book at a random page and then spotted the name Gotham Jewelers. He liked the sound of it and then he decided to call the city Gotham City. The Joker didn't kill Jason Todd, we did, the fans. 
It was a vote that was held to determine if Jason would actually survive his next encounter with the Joker. 5,343 people voted him to die, while another 5,271 voted him to survive. Quite close in my book. The Joker beat Robin with a crowbar and then left him to die in an explosion. I've previously mentioned the suit and the gadgets on this list already. In the publication called Batman Unauthorized, it does state it will cost you $300 million to be able to equip yourself with all these gadgets. Most of this budget will be used on the supercomputer and the construction of the Batcave itself. However, the budget does not include the cost of the boat and the plane, plus the space station that Batman paid for that they used for the headquarters in the animated version of the Justice League. Last but not least on this list, Bruce Wayne has several other identities apart from Batman. The most lesser known alternative personas include Lefty Knox, Matches Malone, Minuteman and The Insider. Now, that brings me to the end of my list. Hopefully you've learned some new and interesting facts. Please feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I've been Batman, Steve and this is Movie Chats Fun Facts.